All right, guys, welcome to this SketchUp training. Today, what I wanted to go over was the extension and the plugin called House Builder. So, the tough thing with House Builder is it's not on the extension warehouse um, and it's kind of an old one. So, you have to uh, watch my other video about how to get other extensions into SketchUp because um, it's kind of a, a backdoor thing. So, you can go over here to view, and, and just also another note is if you don't know where your tool palettes are, if one's hidden, um, you can go view tool palettes and then turn it on. So house builder, turn it off. View tool palettes, house builder, turn it on. So great thing about house builder is it has kind of this uh, general settings, and you can select what you generally want to use for you know lumber, you two by four, two by six, two by eight, uh, wall height, stud spacing. So you can select these things before so that when you go and build your wall, that'll kind of be the general setting. So we have the the floor tool here. The floor tool, I think, is pretty limited. A little disappointed by this, but you know, let's say you want to make a two by four on a 16 inch spacing, then go ahead and do that, and then go 20 foot, and then 20 foot. So it's gonna throw out this way, but it doesn't do a rim joist, um, which is, you know, not that great. But you know, I mean, that was pretty easy to generate some some floors right there. Uh, so we can get rid of that. It's also all grouped together, which is nice. Uh, I think the real powerful tool is in is in the wall tools. So let's do a 20 by 20. And uh, I like to draw the, uh, the lines uh, kind of this first. So that way it kind of gives me, you know, the general general layout of what I should do and then go actually in and, and put the wall. So click on the wall tool um, and kind of select what you want. Uh, plate count, all that stuff looks good, uh, but, but you could change it up once again. Um, and then go ahead here and, and actually start to, to place your walls. So really nice is, bam, so take a look at that. We have one wall placed right there, pretty slick. Um, so I'm going to go over here and do this one. This kind of seems counterintuitive, but I'll show you guys why in a little bit. Um, so that's the wall tool, and I could connect all the walls. But what if I have a gable end wall? So this is where I'm going to show you guys a gable end wall, and you guys can see what we think of this. All right, gable end, boom. Um, so the only thing that might be wrong here is this little connection you might have to uh, fix that so that actually works with kind of how you want your building to be framed um, and then go ahead and plug in that so that's pretty simple I think we can all agree that, that that's a great tool there it got all my walls done um, next part is what if you want to go ahead and add in um, openings or something like that so you can use the add a window in the wall so first you select the wall and now you click it so that's that's something that's a little bit different um, and you can header size sill size all this stuff can be changed um, as well as height and all that stuff so now it kind of removes the wall and then you kind of have um, kind of this bar down here where it shows you where where you actually want to place it so boom just like that um, and let's also do the uh, add a add a door into the wall, same thing, and boom, I can do it from right there. So that's pretty great. The other good features of this are, you know, now you can uh, change the properties of it. Um, so you're like, eh, you know, I, I want the header height to be different, or I want I want it to be bigger. You know, I could do like a four foot. And so you don't have to do anything. But but notice the big thing here is you have to select the wall first then select the tool. So here we've got the move tool. Now I can find this guy, select it, and then move it. So that's some pretty powerful features, I think, um, that are in kind of this framing subset of things. So typically what I would do here is I would go ahead and name, or I would, I'd probably group all these together. And then I would name this uh, exterior walls. Put all in the same layer. 
All right, so the last really cool feature of House Builder is the roofing tool. So you can go ahead here. It can do shed or gable. That's really all it's limited to. It cannot do a hip roof, but there are other tools available for that. So um, go ahead and kind of select what you want here. Joy spacing, pitch, all this stuff. My pitch for my gable walls was 612, so I'm going to keep it here. And then what's interesting about this is you actually just select, you kind of draw a line, if you will. Um, and then this kind of comes out into a square and bam. That was pretty easy. Um, and take a look here. If you do it right, it is actually going to set um, set this down on your double top plate with a bird's mouth. And that's pretty nice. Once again, you can do uh, roof framing. Um, and then you can go in and, and really fine tune things. So, you know, once again, I don't think these tools are going to get you everything that you need you know let's just be honest about that but uh, what i think they will allow you to do is get a really quick easy platform right away and then you can go in and adjust these things you know, eh, maybe it maybe it didn't do the uh, uh the overhangs here like you wanted to so go ahead and adjust that um or it, it didn't do the framing exactly like i wanted to well go ahead click into it and then you can edit things around um, and change things. So uh, these are some of the tools that I use. Uh, this is one of the best, I think, house builder. Like I said, it is older. It's harder to get, um, but it is a really, really good tool. So go ahead. I am going to put the links down below where you can download it. Um, and, uh, and then, like I said, watch my other video so that you can figure out how to actually get it into SketchUp. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.